Rob, you know that one of the upcoming Marvel projects that we have been getting more and more excited about is Shang-Chi. Mm. And, uh, and and by the way, they, they actually said it in the trailer. I had been pronouncing it Shang-Chi because I heard Kevin Feige say it that way once before. I've also heard him say it as Shang-Chi. But then they said it in the trailer, it's pronounced Shang-Chi like a soft A. Now we know how it's said, so I'm saying it hopefully correctly, Shang-Chi. But anyway, um, we've been seeing the trailers coming out. We've been getting excited about it. It is coming up here pretty quickly. Well, I got an email earlier this morning from Disney Publicity talking about the fact that they've just released a brand new featurette showing really the connection between Shang-Chi and Iron Man. And they put this thing out a little bit earlier today. And sure enough, it has, we see Kevin Feige, you know, talking in this thing about the fact that Shang-Chi takes us back to the very, very beginning of the MCU. The very beginning of the MCU. He even shows us a few clips of Iron Man and stuff like that. And shows, you know, the rings and all the things that remind us about this is what that was. Not the Ben Kingsley, not the Ben Kingsley one. But this is that organization that we saw that was there at the very beginning of the MCU. And then, of course, you know, we get Simu Lu uh, talking a lot about, you know, he was so excited to play this. We see Aquafina talking about how she just felt like Simu was like born to play this role and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot, actually a lot of good things because, Rob, you know, I usually avoid and skip over these little one to two minute featurettes they're just glorified commercials but i actually thought this one was pretty interesting yep. did you have a chance to see this little featurette and uh, what stood out to you yeah i did i mean i i really enjoyed it you know i've obviously whenever you get to see people talking get a little bit more insight into the process i i dig it and i thought this was they're they're drawing important i thought this was a very shrewd piece of marketing talking about how it goes all the way back to iron man one and um that's definitely something that I think people need to be reminded of. And I think that's pretty cool. And also, I like the idea that we're going to be getting some flashbacks, I would imagine, into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, different ones than we've ever had before. I love this comic when I was a kid. I really can't wait to see this movie. And um, every uh, the more I see of it, the more I'm excited about it. And again, you know, a lot of people don't know this character. So right. I think having these extra added bits of marketing for people to watch, you know, gets people excited. And I, I, I know it certainly got me all hot and bothered. I'm like, <laughs> I want to see this movie now. And I, I, I mean, I can't, I can't believe they, I, I mean, I knew Master Shang-Chi has been a, an Avenger. So it's yeah. really cool to see this. And I'm, I'm very, very excited for this movie. Let me, let me ask you this. Do you think like the way Kevin Feige was speaking it has left me kind of with an expectation and a hope that we certainly at least get some passing references to the events of Iron Man 1. Because, you know, Kevin Feige went out of his way in this little featurette to talk about the connection to the first Iron Man 1. They show clips from the original Iron Man 1, transposing over the, the Ten Rings and things like that. What are your expect? Do you think they'll actually show, whether it's a flashback to Iron Man 1 or, you know, discussions and dialogue referencing the events of Iron Man 1, do you think they're going to show a more practical connection to that first film, or do you think that's just to be background information for us? Uh, I'll do you one better. Ooh. I think you're going to see references to both Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 3. I thought you were about to tell me we're going to see Tony Stark. <laughs> we're going to see Robert Downey Jr. We said, I'll do you one better. I think we're going to see no, Robert Downey Jr. You, you know Jr. what, though? I mean, now that you say that, I wouldn't put it past them That's true. to do that. And maybe maybe it'll only be Tony Stark and flashback footage, but I think that there's got to be some reference to what happened in Iron Man 1 and 3 because, you know, he was being impersonated. Maybe we'll find out that that was part of, that was part of um, Tony Lung's plan all the time. Like, he was... He was masterminding by making it look like there are no, there is no organization of the Ten Rings, that it's all silly. It's another, uh, it's another added layer of obfuscation to keep them secret. So who knows? Well, whatever it is, guys, did you guys have a chance to see this new promo for Shang-Chi? I thought it looked really quite interesting. Not as good as a full trailer, but I thought it was actually pretty interesting. What did you guys think about it? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.